Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Sani Bonani, I go by the name Tabi Silas Dikali, and I am your host for today. We are out here at the Africa Rising International Film Festival. Welcome to Tame TV. We are at the Red Carpet Run. All right, so standing right next to me is the beautiful Didi from Global Citizen. Didi, how are you doing today? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Awesome. I love your amazing dress. Who designed it for you? Um, I've got a local in-house designer. I come to him. He does one or two threads for me. Yeah. All right. So what are you doing here today? So today I basically am part of Global Citizen, as you guys may know, and I'm here representing the team and also just to discuss our partnership with Africa Rising International Film Festival. What that means for us is that we've got an opportunity to incentivize our global citizen community to stand a chance to win tickets to the actual film festival. We know that this is unique for our audience. They want these kind of um, partnerships and these kinds of festivals. All right, so tell me something. What do you think about this event as a whole? Do you think it's unique from other festivals or? Look, I think film, the film industry is quite a massive one just in terms of like young people and specifically speaking to millennials I think it's one thing that they aspire to do so you find a lot of stories of kids who are in the industry but don't have an opportunity to really just shine so this allows the opportunity again just speaking to our women in this country I think it's a great great platform with Swift where we've got women in the industry who specialize and want to mentor young kids so I think what I love about it is that it's an access to opportunities for for the youth beautiful so tell me something what is Global Citizen all about so Global Citizen is an international advocacy organization that's dedicated to ending extreme poverty by the year 2030 what that means is that we basically rally on world leaders government officials to make financial and legislative commitments our goal is all about ending extreme poverty. So the more people we bring onto the movement, the better. So we speak to our audience and we say our community are young, socially conscious millennials who are interested about the cause and who are wanting to know how to tackle the issues that we face globally. So that's, that's pretty much it. Wow, beautiful. So now I'm going to ask you something really funny. I want you to give me the direct translation in your mother tongue. What is beetroot in your language? Give it root. <laughs> Thank you so much, Didi. Thank you. <laughs> so standing right next to me is the beautiful Lala. How are you, Lala? I'm well. How are you? You are looking equally gorgeous. You look amazing. So tell us who dressed you up today? Rich Factory. <laughs> <laughs> are you like a model or something? Oh, no, no. I'm just a producer. <laughs> is it? So I heard you are like the chairperson. Yeah, so I'm the co-chairperson of Africa Rising International Film Festival. I co-chair with Mr. Kweku Mandela. Wow! How has the journey been for you as a woman in this industry? Look, the journey is um, difficult as a black female um, in the, within the industry space. But that's what this platform is. It's about breaking down those barriers. It's about creating a platform where female, young people, um, queer members of society, people living with disability can have a space and a place where their content can be shown. So this, this platform is very intentional in terms of what it seeks to address and um, yet doing it in a very premium way. So we're an international film festival. <laughs> wow, so last but not least I want to ask you something really funny. I'm going to ask you something in English. You need to give me that direct translation of it. What is cucumber in Isuzulu? <laughs> Ikyukamba in Isizulu is a Ikyukamba. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lala. It was great having you. You are beautiful and inspirational. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. So this is Ntabi from GFC. Ntabi, how are you? I'm great, thanks. And how are you? I'm amazing. You look absolutely stunning. Who dressed you up today? Actually, I did. You know, you just pull something all, all, all the time and you just ease yourself and you just come through. Wow, so what are you doing here today? Today we are here to celebrate the media launch for the Arif uh, Festival. And as the Gauteng Film Commission, we have supported the second edition of the festival and we are here to also hear also the new lineup for, for this year's festival and what is it that the festival will be bringing through to the audiences of South Africa this year. Tell me something, Tabi, what is GFC all about? 
Oh yeah, it's a nice one, that one. Actually, the Gauteng Film Commission is actually a, a development and a supportive role of the Gauteng, of the film industry. So what we do, we do a supporting um, development as well as a facilitation role to promote film in the province. You know, we do have mother bodies that take care of the whole of South Africa. Rona, we are doing the provincial part, which is obviously looking care of uh, the development, the growth, the sustainability, training, audience development, location facilitation, um, distribution and marketing for films and that's all of that is just contributing to the transformation and the growth of the industry. Right, do you think the Arif Festival is unique? If yes, how so? Um, I think unique is another word, it's amazing because what it does is that it has its own selected curated films which are actually speaking to a diverse uh, culture of people as well as diversity of stories that they bring to the festival but also outside of only the screenings and the films that they bring to the festival it's also looking at the seminars, the round table, the, um, the live master action classes which they also host which also contributes to what they are trying to address from the people that are aspiring and coming into the festival but also in the intermediates of the uh, film profession as well as uh, uh, the, the high end. So what the festival does, it caters, I mean it caters for even primary schools that have been coming to attend uh, uh, film screenings. So it means the range of people that are coming to the festival, it caters from all ages of audiences and development, but also around the discussions part, it looks at the professionals, it looks at the people that are currently in institutions learning and studying for film, but it also looks at people that are also trying to just um, uh, uh, um, nurture and equip themselves with new skills and understand also so the, the, the structures of where the film industry is going in the country, but also what are the new trends that uh, people need to start producing, where is the new things that one needs to start focusing on, but also looking at the status quo. Next to me is the beautiful Tuli Tabet. You guys know her as an actress. Oh my God, you look amazing today. Who dressed you up today? So much. I dressed myself. <laughs> Are you like a model or something? No, I'm not. I'm actually not even a fashionista. So I take this as a huge compliment in your bong. So I won't waste your time. I know you're rushing to go inside. You're like the MC today. So I just want to know one thing from you. Do you have any words of encouragement to other young people who look up to you as an actress? I would say to young people is that there is nothing that comes easy. All industries have um, its flaws and difficulties. So you can't think you're coming into the arts and you think it's going to be easy. Everything requires a foundation. Everything requires respect for the craft and passion. And then everything else will come afterwards. The fame and the endorsements and all these things that we chase after. But you always have to focus on your craft because that's what people always know you for. And then the rest will come. Okay, I have a funny question for you. I'm going to ask you in English. Please give me the direct translation of it in your mother tongue. Okay. What is cucumber in Isuzulu? I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, cucumber. Thank you so much, Tuli. So standing right next to me is the beautiful Mangi. Mangi, how are you today? I'm good, Susie. Thank you. How are you? I'm amazing. So tell me, why are you so beautiful? I, I don't know. Let us go. He'll tell us. Woo! All right. So what are you doing here today? And thank you so much. We are here at the launch of the Arif Africa Rising International Film Festival here in Johannesburg. We are excited as Swift sisters working in film and television to be part of this. When I think about this event, I think it's it's very necessary, you know, for for us, especially in the arts culture, because I'm also an actor as well, you know. Yeah, I don't, didn't you know that? I knew that. Before you go, I have a really funny question for you. Ah, ha ha ha. What is cucumber in your language? Yo. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Yo. 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 She got it. Thank you so much, Maggie. So let's go inside and find out what's happening. Follow me. We've really had some amazing meetings of people coming on board just by um, you know, our message resonates with what they want to do. So we're so humbled. 
So the round, so an opening film for us, the rousing musical journey of a South African superstar in the festival opening documentary about Usis, Usiswa, Neche. We have a Nigerian crime thriller that leads us on a relentless hunt in the ghost of the House of Truth. You had an amazing time at the Africa Rising International Film Festival. Once again, I go by the name Tabi Silezikali, and I was your host for today. Thank you so much for joining us today. Catch us again, same time, same place. Do follow us on Instagram at TempTV and do subscribe to our YouTube channel. From me, Ndombega Zikali, bye bye.